Hi, I'm John Storms. I'm going to do a quick little behind the scenes tour so of our uh, of our light display. So here's my little computer and I got this guy hooked up to run my light show. This is my USB to serial connector, my RS-485. And that is used to connect all of the Lightarama controllers. <coughs> so it's essentially a Lightarama network. Now on the back here, it's not connected, but I have this Ethernet connection, which goes out to a hub in the yard, and that essentially is for my uh, pixel lights. I have my low power radio transmitter with antenna, and that's where it runs out of. And so I got Lightarama that goes that way, and then I have Lightarama that goes into the house and then comes out the other side. And then I got this cable that goes up and around the garage for the Ethernet. So, that's my Ethernet connection going outside. <coughs> Here, just inside the garage door, I have a, a light aroma. That's unit 6. And then I have a little cardboard sheath so the door doesn't damage the cables as much. And up here, behind the pergola, I have one and two light aroma controllers. And they're nicely hidden behind the, the wood pergola. I've got a battery light. And over here I have two more light around controllers. I control the, uh, the side yard and the part of the roof. <coughs> then we go over here to the front porch. This is where the cactus lives. But I also have two more. A light aroma controllers. Light aroma 2, light aroma 3, and of course my cactus. And where it went into the house in the garage, it comes out over here on this side. And then I have it connected to this guy. So this is the other side of the network. Okay, now the pixel trees. So that Ethernet connection I had, I have, comes running off the porch comes into the yard. Now I have some more light aroma controllers. I have more light aroma controllers in the front here. <coughs> but for the pixels, the Ethernet cable comes in and goes into that switch. And that's just the regular Ethernet switch. No router. Just a cheap switch. And then this is one of two E682 sand device controllers that controls the trees. See this one, I, it's on its own private network. Let me get my other hand so I can open up the case. Okay. So, what we have here, we have the E682 controller on this side. The Ethernet cable comes in right here on this purple connector. And that is running E131, which is DMX over Ethernet. So that's how it gets its signal from the computer, which is running Lightarama S3. <clears throat> now, there are 16 connectors on the board, and I have one connector for each tree, and I have a split between, the 13 trees split between the two boards. <clears throat> now, there's actually only four logical ports, but they give you 16 connectors. So that means yeah, each bank of four of those connectors has to be configured exactly the same. Now, for me, it's not a big deal. I have them all configured for WS2811, 12 volt, with 125 um, RGB pixels on each. Now over here on the side, you have a bunch of fuses. You have the power, the 12 volt power supply coming into two places. It can also do 5 volts, but I chose 12. And then I have um, pigtail connectors that I've made. Actually, I bought the pigtails from Seasonal Entertainment and I extended them a little bit. And then I take it all and stick it in a CG1500 enclosure. This one's actually a PS1 from Sand Devices. The other one is essentially the same enclosure that I bought from uh, DIY Express. Okay. Um, I think that's it for the controller. And I run them in unicast because that's the right way to do it. And then I put everything inside a nice Tupperware enclosure because I'm paranoid. I like to keep everything safe. And then 
I usually keep a black garbage bag over the enclosure, like this one, just because I'm overly paranoid. And here's my other Lateranus that I call the park garbage bag over the top. And here's its comm cable, it has not buried. Here's the stack with its cover off, so I put a power strip up here. So it's under the bag. And over here on the side, I have a coupler somewhere, Ethernet coupler, to keep that off the ground too. So then, I have the, for the pixel trees, I have, I have the uh, pigtails coming off, and they provide power and signal to the trees. So there's three cables that are important. There's voltage plus, ground, and signal. Sand Devices has places for four, four connectors, just because some types of pixels support that. So the pigtail connectors run up to the trees. Where you know, I have another pigtail connector onto the end that I've soldered onto the end of the wire with the pig, with the pixels. Each tree has 125 pixels. They come in groups of strings of 50, so I cut one in half, to stick it on the end of, of the other two, and it gives me 125. So at the end of the season, all of the pixels are still working. I haven't had any go out. Now on these trees they still have their original LED lights, and I have had those are to the conventional Lateranus controller. Now we're attaching them. I have a twist tie in the bottom, and I take the pixels and I just wrap them around the tree. And I have a twist tie on the top, and that is it. So it's really the simplest way possible. Get a close up of the pixel here. You can see there's a little microchip inside. You can see there's three wires coming in, three wires coming out. And um, the chip acts as a repeater to, uh, for the signal, but you have to watch out for a voltage drop. Otherwise you have to do power injection. Here's one of my connections. So there's actually the connector that came with the lights in there. And then I put heat shrink over it. Shrink it down, put a, more, a little more silicone on the ends, and try to make these as waterproof as possible. And I believe these are 1968. And then on the end here, I add another piece of shrink down, a little more silicone, and just make sure I'm getting any water on the ends. So that's pretty much it. Not a real fancy setup. Basically, I have a light aroma network and then an E131 network that uh, connects everything together. Not too tricky. Let's see. Of course, we were busy yesterday getting all the indoor stuff down, so here's our 50 pound version of Tetris. And then all the snowflakes will go here on the wall. Cactus lives on the roof right there. And then everything else goes in bins. Here's my Phillips snowflakes that I bought this year. Got a couple. A couple more up there. Christmas towns up here, lights, these are for the six foot trees in the yard. I think that's it. So, that's my display. Hope you liked the video. Oh, there's some backup controllers.